Hi guys, Steven here with another video on the next software update. So today we are going to test software update 2018-34.1. And uh, I'm going to change a few things uh, since a few of the sections that I'm covering have been okay for quite some time now. I'm uh, going to skip those and uh, we'll add a few more testing points once we get to version 9 we should have a lot of improvements uh, on uh, the autopilot level. But for now, let's see what this update brings us. So the hill section that I'm testing first, that has been okay for a few months now. Uh, but here we still get some wobbles every once in a while. So let's see what this update brings us. I'm seeing the lines jumping around a little bit, but the car is going pretty much straight on, uh, which is uh, which is great. So that's uh, that's a good thing. Also here, I'm testing the uh, auto lane change. Again, with this uh, with this update, still no auto lane change on secondary roads, unfortunately. So not sure why. Uh, Tesla wouldn't allow that on secondary roads. Maybe it's just like they want it or, or autopilot to only be for be used on highways and everything else. As I said before, is a plus, is a bonus. Uh, but AP1 still is able to do that, uh, so that's still the winning point for AP1 in, uh, on that front. Up ahead we have the dreaded right-left turn, which I know is a corner case for autopilot. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, it was able to tackle that with autopilot 1. Last few weeks or last few updates it has been going over the lines again, so let's hope we don't get any new cars here. Yep, I have to intervene there, enabling it again. Let's see what it does on the left turn here. It is still driving into the gutter. So there's no difference in view of the last update there. Um, I still think Tesla should be able to tackle that and I still feel that the car is reacting to the curve but it is reacting too slow. So the steering corrections it makes are just too slow for the, uh, for the car to handle. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a bummer. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe with version 9 we get a lot more improvements on autopilot. All right, so time again to test the auto lane change. Uh, so once I come up to that truck probably up ahead, the car will start slowing down and hopefully it doesn't slow down too much. Um, so here we're slowing down already. Yeah, it still sticks to that speed until about halfway through the uh, lane change so let's try that again with this truck now so as soon as the car starts slowing down here we go I do the lane change it continues to slow down until it has a clear path to uh, to go ahead so yeah if, if we get the uh, unassisted lane change in version 9 or uh, whatever it is called at that point uh, and the car will change on its own then definitely we are going to need to have an improvement on this so that the car does not impede the oncoming traffic by slowing down during the move now something that has been bothering me for some time now as well is when the car starts moving like now in front of me how long my car waits until it starts moving and then how slowly it accelerates so i'm hearing quite some comments about people complaining that the car accelerates too quickly in autopilot i have the exact opposite complaint that the car does not accelerate fast enough uh, and it leaves huge gaps between the car in front of you and 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 yourself uh, so people start cutting in and then it leaves even more gaps because it wants to keep its distance as well. 
So yeah, I guess that could use an improvement uh, as well, or there should be a user setting on how aggressive your acceleration should be. So uh, my setting for autopilot is always on three or four. I switch between the two, uh, depending on the situation. But uh, yeah, um, I think that's most comfortable on highways, but in uh, traffic jams, I sometimes I switch to number one, but usually it's uh, three or four. Now, another thing that I've noticed is that when you cross intersections where autopilot isn't meant to be used, that it starts beeping like it did now. Uh, even though the white lights weren't flashing yet to notify, so it definitely detects that you're crossing an intersection that doesn't have all the required lines to be able to cross it. So I think that's a good thing because as mentioned by many of you before and I keep reiterating as well, I'm doing these tests to see where the boundaries of autopilot are, but um, autopilot is still meant for highway driving only and whatever it can do in the current circumstances on secondary roads or even on smaller roads, that's just a bonus, right? Um, so yeah, you're getting more, your attention gets drawn to the fact that you're crossing an intersection on autopilot and it does not feel comfortable doing that, so it notifies you and I think that's a good thing in this update, but it's new in this specific update. So I do have a car in front of me here for the uh, left-right lane shift. Let's see if we can get it on autopilot. Yes. Yeah, and even though we didn't do that at a full 70 kilometers an hour um, from the past week that I've been driving and testing this version, I've noticed no difference with the previous one. So according to the one before that, or if you compare it to the one before that, then uh, it actually changes um, the way it handles that. So it's going to go to the left before it goes through. So it's not reacting, it's a little bit anticipating in that particular situation. All right, so time for another conclusion. So with this one, I can be fairly short in the sense that I didn't really notice a difference in behavior between the previous version, which was uh, version 2018.32.1 in my case. Um, and uh, the current version, which is uh, version 2018.34.1. Except for the fact that when you cross uh, intersections on autopilot, then uh, it beeps you and it alerts you that it's not comfortable doing that. Um, even though you, you still don't get the red, uh, sorry, the white warnings uh, around the dash uh, that you don't have your hands on the steering wheel, it still beeps you. And I think that is a good thing here because crossing intersections on autopilot is just a dangerous thing. If the lines aren't that good, um, I've seen places where it actually switches lanes uh, because the intersection had a slight curve to it. And then it just switches lanes in the middle of it, uh, choosing the left lane instead of going straight on and aiming for the right one. So don't use autopilot on intersections at this point. Uh, at some point it will be better, but for now you can't really trust it there. Um, and as always, if you like my videos, please like it and subscribe to my channel using this little button. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.